I've loved music ever since I was a kid. I always loved music. I, when I was in high school, I didn't go any place in my car without all of my music with me, and I've always had to have music everywhere I went. I got my first jukebox between five and ten years ago. I like the power that comes out of a jukebox and the sound in and of itself. The whole sound is unique to, to vinyl. It's different than tape or CD or download or anything. It's just the sound is unique to vinyl and that's just what I like. It suits me quite well. And you think when you buy one jukebox, you say, oh, this is every song I've ever liked. But then you find out, no. It's not every song I've ever liked. So then I thought, well, maybe two would do it. And two didn't seem to do much better than one, so then it just kept going up one at a time from there. Whenever someone had one, especially if it was broken, then I would like to buy it and make it work and then listen to it, decide what music I wanted in it. Just went on and on. If you're a music person like me, every song you can remember where you were at when you heard it the first time. And especially if you like the song, you think, oh, wow, I did nothing but pop until probably I was in my mid-20s. And then I started listening to a lot of country. And I like that just as well as I do the pop. So it's really hard to sort anything out. But it, it's hard for me to do without the music because if I didn't have one, then that would be the one I would want to hear. I still see individual records on eBay that I don't have, and I think, oh, I need to get some money and get that record because I want to hear that one. And then after I get it and I hear it for a while, then I just play it occasionally as I'm on that box. But when I first get it, I'm all excited to hear it because I haven't heard it for 20 or 30 years, you know, and I can't wait to hear it again. And it's, it's quite a, it's quite a, I don't know if it's a rush or what it is, but it gives me an adrenaline rush to listen to something I haven't heard for a long time, but it's just fun. I don't count them, but I've been told maybe 48 that I have and 41 working. But it changes all the time. We're always working on some and getting more working, but we don't have too many more that are broken or missing parts or stuff like that. Um, a lot of guys would get them and not use them and their wife would be tripping over them and she wanted them gone. That's usually what happened. I'm sure they all began their life in either a bar or a restaurant or some place like that, some kind of a club. Um, some people can tell me a little bit about the history of a box and then others they don't know anything about where their jukebox came from. But I have Seaberg, Rockola, and AMI Row. The amplifier and the sound, I like Rockola probably the best, but they're all really close. That I have to have them at least capable of playing stereo. Jukeboxes didn't start coming out with stereo capability until about 1959. And 1960 is my oldest one. And it, of course, the amps were a lot smaller then, but I don't collect jukeboxes just as a furniture piece, so I really don't want ones that are old enough that they wouldn't be able to play stereo. You know, I'm more about the sound. And records improve too, you know, over the years. Some of my older records are, even if they were in good shape, don't quite have the sound of some of the little bit later records, but they're, you have to have some of both because if you're going to hear those old songs, you about got to hear them there, you know, so I like them all. And I try to stay with top 40, both on country and pop. You know, I can't justify keeping stuff that didn't make top 40 in a jukebox because it's taken up a space that I can't fit a number one in. I really hate that. <laughs> I did let one go, and um, every time I see the one that I let go, I want to go play some of the records that I let go with it, because now I'll never hear those records again unless I buy them all over again. So it's pretty sad. I don't think I could go through that again. It was very hard on me. I didn't sleep for several nights. You know. 
<laughs> they don't take that much room. They aren't hurting anything. <laughs> My name is Royce Reeder, and I love jukeboxes. Aren't they wonderful?